basically not enforcing the law, causing chaos in these cities, and people who can afford to leave and companies that cannot afford to stay are going to go other places, and pretty soon these cities will just be peopled by people who can't afford to leave. Yeah, and then it's one thing to look at a bodega doing this and locking things up. It's another thing when it's a main, you know, international retail giant like Target uh, having to close off whole aisles at some of these shows, making it next to impossible for shoppers uh, without some effort to get some of the things they're looking for. That costs companies a lot of money and a lot of customers. Sure. Who wants to go into a store if you want a razor blade? You have to call somebody to come with a key. It's ridiculous. And, you know, it's also dangerous. Uh, look at the incident that happened recently in San Francisco where a security car ended up shooting a shoplifter and killing him. Uh, they are basically telling criminals you can shoplift with impunity and nobody's going to prosecute you. And we're seeing it in all the major cities in this country. You know, um, I'm, I'm just wondering while I have you as well, uh, we had this scare with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle last night in New York. And it reminded a lot of people, boy, if, it, if, it, if it's happening to celebrities like that, of course, they're a target given their notoriety. I get that. Whether it was as bad or as sweeping as so